Let's get started. Let's get it started. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. Let's get it started. Ha. Let's get it started in here. Hi guys, finally Roman is here yeah, and it means that we have a new theme today and this theme is going to be about our fuck-ups. And don't worry, usually when startups open they do face a lot of mistakes. We did as well and we are here to share with you some of our fuck-ups. So let's talk about the first one. And the very first mistake which pops into the mind is actually the native language. And here I mean the following. Whenever you open a startup, it is really important to understand every step of the process. I mean, you, you, you probably know the native language, but there is a big difference between like when you speak in the language and when you speak in it professionally. We thought that we're gonna be fine. In our case, it was with a tax advisor. We really thought that we do understand everything. But at some point we realized we really, that, that not. That, that was our first fuck up and we made a few mistakes that cost a little bit of money for us and then we realized that we want to hire a translator. So our main tip here is for you just to make sure that you know the professional language of the country where you open your business. And don't worry if it doesn't work properly, just make sure that you have some people who can help you in this journey. Yeah. Everything is going to be fine. Yeah, find these people and work with them or just ask for the help. And we are moving to mistake number two. And the second mistake we faced was the cultural differences what we mean by this. So when we came to Austria, we really thought that it might take some things to do much faster. But once we dived into the operations, we faced a really long-term answers and doing things. <laughs> After some experience of doing business in other countries, we were used to do certain things much faster. And it was such a surprise for us to see that people might answer to just a regular email for three to four days or that they just can randomly say, oh no, today I won't come because the weather is bad and so on, etc. Yeah, I don't have any mood today and I, I don't want I don't want to go to work. But this is fine. These are the things which you have to get used to because you are opening a business in this country and some people are behaving in this way and it's quite okay for them and it should be quite okay for you. <laughs> so don't come to another country with your own rules. Tip from us. If there is some spare time which you have, then put it into another stream. Make sure that there are going to be some more efficient things to do rather yeah. than wait. Tip number three, control. Well, we are a startup. <laughs> well, we are a startup and we don't have sufficient funds to literally afford a CRM system for us, control management system. Therefore, it is, it's usually really expensive. Yeah, it is. It, it is. is. It is. So it is really important to control your inventory, to control your cash flows, to control your marketing expenses. And what you usually do, you either buy a CRM system or you will build your Excel tables by yourself. In our case, we didn't uh, build our tables on time and we had actually to <laughs> then cope with it. So a tip from us would be... If you don't have any money, it doesn't mean that you, have, you don't have to have this CRM system. Just do it by yourself and it's really easy. It's not, it's not that hard. Just the Excel tables and just write down there everything. Made a, you, your, your own formulas and it's gonna be really fine. And it's really great that nowadays uh, in internet you can find any examples, even on YouTube. Yes, actually, actually, if you wanna see our, our formulas, which will help you to control everything you have in your business, just write down comments below and we will send you something that you will make, like use like a draft, for, mm -hmm. for example. Our mistake number four, is the promo days, marketing days. In previous video, when we were speaking with Ilya, we told you that we were doing the promo days for our stations to attract more people. Yeah. And our strategy was to make two to three promo days within a month. And now, after some time, we realized that it's going to be better to do at the first three days of the station opening the promo days. Yeah, we just realized that we have a absolutely new concept and people in Austria 
really afraid of the things that are really new in their country. So we have to take them by the hand, show them how it works and after that it's gonna be absolutely fine, they will love it, but you have to do your steps. And this is the marketing. You have to know every tiny detail of your business, how it operates, the station operation in our case, marketing operations, your cash flows, everything. Mm. In our case? In our case, actually, we have three persons in the, um, in the tops. So we decided, in the, the, the first time, we decided that this is your part, this is your part, this is your part. And at that time, I realized, at that moment, he knew he fucked up. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. It doesn't matter how many people in charge of your business and it doesn't matter how many people, the owners of the business, every person have to know every detail of their business. And there is no like, you doing only this and you don't, don't think about your stuff, you know? Actually, story of my life, I saw a lot of people who was like, actually acting like the bosses, you know? I was asking some questions about the marketing or maybe the delivery processes and there was like, you know, man, I, I don't care about this stuff because I have the people there. They just like decided. I mean, it could be, but it's not in the startup, you know? When you're starting, you have to know everything. Another mistake which we've really marked is you really have to constantly look for new suppliers, for new producers, for new partners, collaborators. It is a really important thing to do. Never stop exploring. <laughs> this is it. Never stop exploring, guys. But I mean it. You, it, you will never know when you'll find the best prices, maybe, or the best quality, better quality that you have. Maybe you will find the better people. You know, sometimes it's it, all, only about the people you don't like. Your people, which, 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 with whom you're working with. So <clears throat> Mark, never stop exploring. That's what I said. Market is always never stop exploring. <laughs> <laughs> market is always changing so in case if something happens you really need to have a backup plan and in this case if you will have an extra list of some people who could supply you things or produce the things or collaborators you will be on a safe side yeah yeah and so the last one but this is not a fuck up actually but it's not the last one the last one was already <laughs> <laughs> so that's what i'm saying this is not the fuck up this is a tip when you're starting your business you're thinking about your business model. For example, we are selling the coffee, we are selling the really good quality coffee for the best prices, the best places and we're looking really good. This is our, I mean, for example, this is our business model. But don't concentrate only on this model. Sometimes when you are startup, when your business living his life, there is life, it could change. Your business model could change and maybe you will find some different ways to get the money from something else, you know? Maybe for the fridges, from the fridges that you put closer to your coffee, show, coffee station. I would call it as a tip, expand your horizons and just don't yes. look in one box. Try to broaden your um, vision. Sometimes at the very end, the business you're having as an outcome can be actually not the one you were planning to start. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Thank you for watching, guys. Put your thumbs up. Support yes. us, please, in this quite interesting and unusual journey. Oh, yeah. Oh, we really yeah. hope for your support. It really matters to us. And we have a lot of work to do. A oh. lot of upcoming videos. And if there is anything you want to see in our channel, please share mm. in comments below. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Soon? Soon. <laughs> <laughs> Never stop exploring.